going to do for youth unemployment in the piano. <laughs> Let me hear the first track, so I went to the light part and, you know, <laughs> just to put the game part. Whether it's going to college or getting a job. So, you have to skill, get the training. Um, my time is up. <laughs> Ariana. Are you at? No, put on your head, no. Mm -mm. Too late. You said the question is, what do you think the government will do with or for youth employment? What was it? With or for? For youth employment? Is that what it was? Okay. All right. Uh, two minutes. No problem. I got it. Minute and 45 now. I got it. Why is it the government's job to do everything related to what you individually need for yourself? I'm not disagreeing with you. Just, I just like to ask these questions back sometimes to get us thinking, okay? Um, you heard from the more official response there that actually knows what's going on. And in terms of myself, who has, yeah, I have a few youth under my wing that are working places, uh, but they went and figured out what they wanted to do and they went and started asking questions. We did go to the Department of Labor, we did do that too. Uh, but there's also LinkedIn Learning, there's YouTube, there's Google, there's uh, self-initiative that it takes once you know what you want to do. Do you all know where the ocean is? Do you know where the boats are? If you're interested in boats, do you know where to go to see the people who are doing the things on the boats? Go ask a question. Go ask a question. So we can't wait on the government for everything. We will be holding our breath. The government are our parents. Right? How many of your parents are government workers? Okay then. So when we say the government, you know that we're talking about ourselves. The government is not an entity or a bot that functions on its own. It is the people. The people who just happen to be being salaried to do certain jobs, thank goodness. But it's really us. It's our responsibility to figure out who we are, what we need, how we get it. And then there are mechanisms in place so that if there are offices in place for you to go ask for support, then you do that. But let's be careful about framing everything and what is the government going to do, unless we have all the other steps in between and before, okay? So I learned a lot of what I learned because I used to stay home and learn it on TV or on Encyclopedia, which, yeah. Um, <laughs> which is now Google, mm -hmm. which is now <laughs> Google and and we could, oh goodness, no, I don't know. We could write anything in that one. But um, the point is, take the initiative. Figure out what you enjoy doing. It's not always easy to figure out what you enjoy doing, but think about things that make you happy. Think about people that make you happy and what you were doing at the time and start trying to take the initiative to figure out what you can do when it comes to supporting yourself. If you can feed yourself, clothe and house yourself, you don't need nobody for those things. We need each other because we're social beings, but not for those things. So I'm gonna stop with that in terms of just taking the initiative to do what you need to do to figure out what you want to do and what you're good at. And if you're not good at it, figure out how to get good at it. Who are you good at it? Look at them and ask them to show you or just stop them, not really, but, but you know, just figure, <laughs> just, just figure out what you can do for yourself and then Ask the question to figure out if there's a government office or agency that can support or educate you in that area and, and do that. But there are things that the government is doing. I'm not a government worker here, so I'm not trying to support them to say that, oh, they already have everything going on. They don't have everything going on because we as people don't have everything going on, so you can't expect the microcosm to not be the same as the macrocosm, right? All right, so. Self-initiative, thank you all so much. Appreciate the question.